not make use of twice net for one of the reasons that you would actually use twice net. So let's configure the the following follow, the following policy the following policy on the ASA. If traffic flows from VLAN 33 and is destined outbound to the loopback zero of router three, I want to net VLAN 33. I want to net VLAN 33 subnet into I want to do path of VLAN 33 into the IP address of 136.1.38. Let's say 90. While if traffic flows from VLAN 33 outbound to VLAN 38, I want to likewise let's say do path for VLAN 33. So still path but into the address of 136.1.38, let's say 80. So depending on the destination of the packet, I choose to net the source differently. That is policy net. Let's configure this. We are gonna have to create a couple of objects or object groups. Because in my case, I'm going to make use, I have only one source, one destination, one possible destination, VLAN 38 or the other back is over router 3. And I only have, I'm netting this, this VLAN, I'm netting this VLAN into one single IP via path. I can make use of either objects or object groups, doesn't matter. But for example, if I wanted to net VLAN 33 and let's say also VLAN 44, which was let's say 10.10.44.0. If I wanted to net both of them the same way, if traffic goes to the loopback 0 3 in some IP address, if traffic goes to the VLAN 38 in another IP address. If that was the case, because I had to match in my net configuration on multiple sources, then I had to, I, in this case, I would have had to configure object groups. So to keep it simple for, for twice net configuration, to make sure that you, you don't run into any sc scalability issues, ideally you should always only use object groups because maybe later on you want to add new entries uh, to your net configuration and if you use objects you're not going to be able to do that. So let's define, let's put a note about the configuration of what I want to do. Object group of time network and let's name this like real VLAN 38 uh, VLAN 33 real underscore real. So in this object I'm gonna match on VLAN 33. Conf T. I'm gonna say network object 10 10 33.0 and that. So this is what I want to net. Now let's define object groups where I'm gonna match on the two possible destinations of my traffic flow which I want to net. Let's say object group of time network VLAN 38, which is also real. Network object is gonna be 10, is gonna be 136.1.38.0 255, 255, 255, 0. So I'm matching on VLAN. Is that VLAN 38? Yes, it is VLAN 38. Let's paste that on the ASA. Network object. And then let's also match on the loopback of router 3 object group. Network. Router 3 loopback 0 
underscore real. For this, I'm going to match on the loopback about fee being 55553. So I'm going to say in here network object host 5553. So those two identify my possible two destinations of my IP flow. Now this identifies in here the source of my traffic flows. And let's say, let's see into what do I want to map that, that source. I said that first I want to map that source into network object host 136.1.38.90 Let's say VLAN 33 mapped first and VLAN 33 mapped second. And let's put that 84 first and that 94 second. And let's configure, let's put those object groups in the ACL configuration as well. And now let's configure the twice natural statements which those are going to be global statements. And let me configure them and then we're going to look at it, look at it in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the text in Notepad. So net inside, net inside, outside, source. I want to do, for the source I want to do dynamic net. And then I'm going to match on the real source, which means this object group. And I want to map, I want to net this traffic, how? Let's say into 38.80. If destination, and for destination you can only do static net, and it makes sense, how could you dynamically net a destination? But because I don't want to do destination net, I do. I just want to do policy net. Then we put the mapped address for the destination, which is called VLAN thirty eight real, and also the real address, the real destination address, VLAN thirty eight real. So show run net. Let's see what I have configured in here. And let me configure the second rule up, the second net, the second net rule, and then we're gonna look it up together. Mapped, let's say second. If destination is static, it's routed fee lowback zero real. And let's put the additional second net statement. There we go. Let's read together the net configuration. What I'm saying is that if traffic flows inside, outside, so ingress interface and egress interfaces are defined specifically. I want to do a net, a, a dynamic net for the source. And I'm telling the SA that this is the real source. This is what I want to net. And this is the map source into what I want to net. And then because this is policy net, I have to reference also the destination net of type static. But then in the destination part, I'm not netting the destination IP flow. As you can see, I'm preserving, I'm, I'm putting in here the this is the map destination and this is the real destination and both of them reference the same object group because I'm using that destination not to net the destination but only to build policy net because with my configuration what I'm actually saying is that if destination of the traffic flow if my traffic flow destination is VLAN 38, I want to net VLAN 33 into this IP address as traffic flows inside, outside. 
Well, the second rule option, what I'm saying is that because again, on the destination part, I'm not doing any net. I'm, pre I'm putting both the mapped destination and the real destination to be the same, which is what it feels to back zero real address. With this configuration, what I'm saying is that if the destination of my IP flow is what it feels to back zero, then I want to net VLAN 33 subnet into the IP address configured in this object group. Of course, if traffic flows inside, outside. So let's see what is the first and what is the second. The first is 80 and the second is 90. So what this means that now as traffic flows from PCB inside, outside, what a destination of VLAN 38, then VLAN 33 should be netted into, should be padded into the IP address of 136.1.38.80. While if traffic flows from VLAN 33 from PCB, inside, outside, with a destination of loopback zero of router three, then VLAN 33 gets netted via path into the IP address of 136.1.38.90. Let's confirm that. First of all, let's verify our NAT configuration, show NAT. And now we see that we also have, we no longer have only section number two policies, which is the auto NAT. We no longer have only section two, which is auto NAT policies. Now we also have section one, where section one, it is the manual NAT or twice NAT policies, manual NAT section one. And we know that as the ASA sends traffic to the ASA routes traffic back and forward, it's gonna first inspect section one to see how to NAT the traffic, if it's gonna match an entry, it's gonna net it as it is. Only if it doesn't match an entry from the section one, then it's gonna go and inspect section two. In my case, because there's no section three configured, if traffic doesn't match section one or section two, it means it's not getting it's not gonna get netted. Either way, let's go on PCB and let's tell net to VLAN 38. Tell net 136.1.38.3. Cisco, Cisco, and we should get netted to dot 80. And there we go, we got netted to dot 80. Let's confirm that also on the ESA. We say show X late. And this is a dynamic entry, which states that PCA from the inside got net as traffic flowed inside, outside. PCA 10.33.100 got netted into 136.138.80. And this is flags RI, which means it's a dynamic net of type path. Let's confirm in the connection table, show connection. Long, of course, or detailed to see both the mapped and the real addresses. And if we look for a connection to 136.138.3, which is the first one, we see that this traffic was initiated from the inside to the outside. Then PCB's IP address 10 10 100 got netted into 136.138.80. And because I'm not doing destination, I'm, not, I'm doing only source net, destination remain the same. 136.138.3 is the same as 136.138.3 because I'm not doing destination net. I just use the destination keyword to be able to do policy net, to say, to tell the, to the SA that based on destination being accessed, I want to net the traffic differently. 
Let's keep the session open. Let's open up a new telnet connection. So stay, stay start run CMD. And let's now telnet out to the loopback of V, which I should get added into dot ninety. And if we say who, this is the active session is the one with the star. And we got added into the IP address of the 90 as expected. If we go in the show X slate, there we go, we see another dynamic entry, which states that as traffic flows inside to outside, PCB's address of 10.10.33.100 gets netted into 136.138.90 now. And likewise, flags are RI, which means dynamic and port map. If we say show connection, long, and look at the new traffic flow, we should be to 5553, and there we go, is the second entry fee. Then I'm saying that as traffic flows inside, outside, this is the real address of PCB, which gets netted into that 90, the map address, but this time because the destination of traffic flow was the loopback zero voted fee, which of course was not netted because I'm not doing destination net. Now, before we move on, what's interesting in here, if you look on the ESA configuration, is that show run net. Technically speaking, traffic flowing inside, outside from PCB could also potentially match on that object dynamic net. But as you can see, in show net, so traffic flowing from PCB, egress to other VLAN 38, destination wise to VLAN 38, or destination wise to Lubeck Zero Varad Fee. So traffic flowing inside, outside. If you look at the configuration of the SA, that traffic is going to match one of the manual or twice NAT statements depending on what is the destination being accessed. Which you know that if traffic from PCB is destined to Rotat V Lubeck Zero, then PCB gets netted into that 90. While if traffic from PCB is destined to VLAN 38, then PCB, PCB address is netted to that 80. But also traffic flowing from PCB out on any of those two destinations, VLAN 38 or Rotat V Lubeck 0, could also potentially match on this Autonet configuration. Because this Autonet configuration inside, outside, in here, this says that perform dynamic, perform dynamic path for the source of VLAN 32 fee, regardless of the destination. So, because traffic, if traffic flows to VLAN 38 or to VLAN to the Lubeck Zero Varad fee, source from VLAN 38 fee, because traffic is being netted per twice netable statements, that's a confirmation that first the ASA inspects for any traffic flows the manual net statements, and if it matches with the traffic flow on those statements, it's going to do what those statements are saying. And only if it doesn't match on those statements, then it's going to secondly inspect the ordinate statements.